Hey, my name's Ed Kimbrell, and I had a channel, and I was just showing people how to build simple things, and I said I was going to start a business. That was a couple years ago. The business has been started. We're still trying to grow some, but we're going to do a, a different approach to this channel. This is going to be basically my advice to my grandson. I'm just an old southern country boy, and so some of my advice I'm known to be very blunt, and if you take it rude or offensive, yeah, I don't care. I'm going to try to talk about barbecuing, different meats, and how we like to smoke around here. I'm going to talk about doing woodworking projects. I'm going to talk about the sawmill business, how we cut up some logs and how we do that. Talk about fixing just different things, you know, like you pass on your grandson. Fixing a car, changing the oil, you know, replacing the head on the car cutting a log up into lumber so you don't have to pay an astronomical fee at the store. Different things about life in general, about going in debt. Don't be an idiot and sign up for a car for seven, eight years because they can get your payments right. That's being an idiot. Don't vote for somebody that says, I believe in abortion or something going against the Bible. Don't do that. We don't do that around here. I mean, we're going to cook meat. We're going to looking at different and we're still going to build, be building things and all that like i said this is just a southern grandpa to his grandson if i offend somebody my daughter goes oh you might offend somebody i really don't care i'm not asking for sponsors i'm not asking for people to subscribe but if you want to tune in and learn how to do something you know on your own or some good advice or whatever tune in i'm not going to beg nobody for nothing i'm not one of the people like right now this is christmas of 2020 People might get a $600 stimulus check from the government. And it's kind of like this. If you're depending on $600 to survive from the government, well, you're an idiot because you didn't know your money right. If you're one of the people that voted for minimum wage to jump up to $15 an hour, you're an idiot because as a small businessman or a business owner, we're not going to take the hit. We're going to pass those costs on to the customers. So if you want more minimum wage, my advice, like to my grandson, is get off your little lazy butt, learn a trade that pays more than minimum wage. If you expect somebody to take care of you like your mama or the government, this ain't your channel. I'm not going to be blunt going, okay, everything's soft and cushiony and everything's going to be all right. No, we do things around here that some people are like, oh, I can't believe it. Yes, you might see me take a bullet and put it through a cow's head or a hog's head. Guess what? We're going to eat. If you don't like it, this ain't your channel. Anyway, other than that, I have no, I'm not trying to force my views on anybody else. And I really take it hard when somebody tries to voice their views on me, like them people in California or New York. You got to live their way. No, y'all's way kind of sucks, and it shows. So don't try to force that on me. I'm one in one. Don't tread on me. I'll do mine and take care of my family. If what I do benefits my family but it also benefits you that's just a coincidence i'm gonna take care of me and my family bottom line but if you want like some self tutorial things on how to cook some meat how to grow your own garden work on a car whatever this is the channel you can listen to all right thank you god bless